Hi everyone, I'm Ravindya and today I'm going to show you how you can create your own website for free using Google Sites. Google Sites is a free and user-friendly tool by Google that allows you to create websites without any coding. It's perfect for beginners and small projects such as portfolios, project showcases or personal websites. Websites created with this tool are hosted for free by Google. So you don't have to worry about paying for hosting or a domain unless you prefer to use a custom URL. So let's get started creating our own website. First open your browser and go to sites.google.com. Make sure you are signed into your Google account. If not, you will need to log in first. To start your site, click on this blank template with the plus sign or you can choose one of the pre-designed templates if you prefer. You can see in here there are some templates for different themes. For this tutorial, I will go with a blank template so we can build from scratch. This is the Google Sites Editor. It's super easy to use. On the right, you will see options for adding content, managing pages, and picking themes. The center area is your site preview. There you can see everything you are working on. Let's start by adding a title for our site. Just click here and type whatever fits your website. I will call mine My Portfolio. Next, let's customize our header. Click this image option. You can either pick one from the gallery or upload your own. I'm going to select an image from the gallery. So, go to Google Images. You can search and upload any image you want. After you select in the image, click this insert button. You can also adjust the height of this image. For that, go to header type and select the option you want. If you don't want to display this image, you can simply click title only. So for this website, I am going to keep it as banner. Now let's upload a logo for this website. For that, click on this add logo option. In here also you can either upload an image from the device or else you can select an image from Google. So here you can see our logo has successfully uploaded. You can also include an alt text. So I'm going to type logo. In here, you can see there is a small icon. To our websites also, we can include an icon like that. For that, you have to upload or select a fair image. So I'm going to select an image for this website. Now I'm going to customize and include some navigation links to this navigation bar. For that, we have to create some pages. So go to pages. By clicking this plus icon, you can create new pages. I have created three pages. Now I want to move this projects link between this home and about links. For that, I'm going to drag and drop this projects tab between the home and about. Now our website has four pages. You can navigate among these pages by clicking these links. Let's customize our home page. Click this text box to add a heading or some text. Let's type something like welcome to my website. Next, I am going to include an about section below this image. For that, I am going to include one of these content blocks. I am going to select this first one.
Then let's add a button below this paragraph such that it will navigate to this about page. To do that, scroll down this sidebar and click this button option. Then give a name for your button. Then I am going to select about page. You can move this button to the place where you want. So I am going to keep it here and adjust the height of this image. Next I am going to include another section here to display some projects. So I am going to select this option. I have included three projects here. Next, I am going to include a button below these projects such that it will navigate to projects page. This is our project section. Let's add a heading here. So this is our project section. Now let's add a footer for this home page. For that, scroll down and click this add footer option. For this demonstration, I'm going to include only the copyright note, but you can include links and other content you want. Now that we have some content, let's change the theme of this website. For that, go to themes. You can select any theme from here or else you can create your own theme by clicking this plus icon. So I will create a theme for this website. I'm going to name it as my theme. Cause I have already added a logo and a banner image. I'm not going to select them again. Then let's click next. And then you can select a color theme for your website. You can select a theme from here or else you can use custom colors. I'm going to select a theme from here. Then you can select text styles for your headings and body text. After you have done the changes, click this create theme button and it will update your website. Let's preview our website. Click this preview icon and you will see your website. This is how our website will be visible for laptop screens. And this is how it will be visible for fonts. And this is the tablet view. Now let's check whether our navigation links and buttons are working or not. So I'm going to click this read more button. So it successfully navigated to the about page. You can see the navigation links also working. You can go back to the editor by clicking this exit preview icon.
After you have finished designing, if everything looks good, click this publish button. Now choose a unique web address for your site. For example, I am going to type portfolio demo. You can see this address is already taken. So let's include two numbers at the end. Now it's available. You can use a custom domain and also you can manage who can see your website. For that click this manage option. In here you will see an option to select public or private. If you keep this as public, anyone on the internet can view your website. But if you make it restricted, only the people with the link can view your website. So I'm going to keep this as public. There is another option here. You can click this if you want to request public search engines to not display your website. I'm not going to select that option. Let's publish our website. To view the published website, click this arrow icon and go to view published site. This is the URL of the homepage of our website. Like I edited this homepage, you can edit the other pages also. If you scroll down this sidebar, you will see more options to include in your website like YouTube videos, Google Calendar, Google Slides and there are more options. I will show you how you can include a Google map to your website. Click this map option. Then you have to select the location you want to include. And after you selecting the location, click the select button. Like that, you can use these options to make your website more attractive. To share your website with others, click this user icon and click here. It will copy the URL of your website. And that's it. Using this way, you can build a simple website. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in the next video.